Get a room already, will ya? I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. The love affair between Justin Trudeau and the media in this country is becoming unbearable. The Globe and Mail, Canada's national newspaper of record, actually has a story and photo gallery about Justin Trudeau's socks. Yeah, that's right. The Globe and Mail is becoming BuzzFeed very, very slowly. Will anyone even notice? Check out this latest listicle from the Globe and Mail. It comes with a photo gallery of Trudeau's socks at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. It comes with a photo of Trudeau's socks at a first minister's meeting. Trudeau's socks as he gets off a plane, as he walks down the street. Okay, we get it. The man likes to wear fun socks. But when did this become news for the Globe and Mail? Or do they really just want to go in the gutter and go back to the, the nickname many have given them for a long time, the Mop and Pail? I, for goodness sakes, the man wears fun socks. This is not news. And it's not news over and over again. Because back in November, the Globe put one of these photos in a, a cut line on their front page. A big front page photo for the Globe and Mail was Justin Trudeau's fun socks. CBC did a story about it at the same time. Really? This is news. Not once, not twice, but three times. The Globe and Mail, as I said, is slowly becoming BuzzFeed. Did anyone notice that when they broke the news of Trudeau's new Senate appointments, it wasn't an actual article. It was a list of the senators and their bios. It is something you get on BuzzFeed, or maybe it was something just written up by the PMO and handed over to be printed at the Globe. I'm not sure. Then there's CBC's latest story about the, the media and internet freakout about Justin Trudeau doing a yoga pose, one that his father had done so many years before. Here's the thing. It's a three-year-old photo, so why are journalists passing it around online? Why is the media freaking out about it? And why is CBC calling Justin Trudeau dreamy in the article? Hey, come on, guys. We know he's giving you an extra $150 million a year, but you're not his PR team. Gerald Butts would be embarrassed at the way you and others talk about him. It's time for Canada's media to grow up. People wonder why they, in this industry, why things are going south, why the old model isn't working. Well, maybe because you're feeding people pap. I know that folks will say, hey, Lily, you and the rebel can be really critical of, of Trudeau. You're too critical. That's all you ever do. Well, when I am critical of Justin Trudeau, it's normally on policy, not what he's putting on his feet, because really, I don't care. If he wants to wear fun socks, have fun. Knock yourself out. Enjoy. It's more fun than just putting on a same pair of black socks every day. I get it. I've got some fun socks myself. But I don't do news stories on them. I don't expect anybody else to. And I really don't expect the Globe and Mail and CBC to fall into this trap. If it were BuzzFeed, I wouldn't care. But these are supposed to be serious news outlets. These are the outlets that hold themselves up as the standard for all others to aspire to. Uh, obviously, things are changing. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.